Hey guys, Bob here. I'm going to do another recipe. I call this my crazy summer um, meatloaf recipe. Original recipe came from Emmer Lagasse. Uh, I think some of you would remember him from the Food Network. Hasn't been around in a while. But I saw him make this uh, really neat summer meatloaf that, that basically you do on a grill. I mean, we're not doing it on the grill today. We're going to do it in the oven. But So I took this recipe, and as you know, I don't do everybody's straight recipe. I kind of add my own little flair to it. So come on and I'll show you how to do this summer crazy meatloaf. Alright, so here we got this is my crazy summertime meatloaf. What we're going to start off with guys is shredded onions. Not chopped, shredded. So if you have a shred or a knuckle buster like I do. So the next thing we're going to do is salsa. Medium. Uh, this is mild. We are going to add some breadcrumbs. We're going to add a couple of dashes of Wish the Wish the Sheer Shire sauce. We're going to add some egg. And we're going to mix this up. So I'll be right back and I'll show you what it looks like when it's mixed. Alright, now that our mixture is all nice and mixed up, this here guys is sharp cheddar and extra sharp Vermont cheddar shredded. Now we're going to add this to this and we're going to mix it together. Show you what it looks like once it's mixed. Okay, you can see there is our cheese now mixed with this. Now let me show you what the crazy part is. Be right back. Okay guys, as you can see this is flattened out. I made a ridge in the center. Here's the crazy piece. This is kibasa smoke kibasa. So what we're going to do is we're going to form our meatloaf around the smoke kibasa. We cut it all well together. You don't have any massive cracks in here. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to put this in a 350 degree oven until almost done. Then we are going to finish it off with a little bit of barbecue sauce on it. So we'll... Uh, See you when it's done. All right, guys. Like I said, we're going to make sure you have no cracks in it if you can help it. It happens, it happens. So what we're going to do with this now, we're going to put this in the oven at 350 degrees. We're going to let it go. We're going to, almost when it's done, we're going to add barbecue sauce over the top of it. We'll let it caramelize a little bit. Take it out, let it let, let it rest. We will show you how to and what we do with it when we serve it. See you in a while, guys. All right, guys. What I told you before in, in the other cooking vlog before this, I was going to use rice cauliflower then, but I decided I wanted barbecue. Anyway, this here is rice cauliflower. This here is a lot healthier than rice, especially the people that are watching their carbs or diabetics like us. So anyway, what this is, is just cauliflower. Um, you can get this. This is Maker's Mark. Um, Member's Mark, I apologize. Um, you can get this at Sam's Club. Um, what it is, big package. And there is four individual servings of riced cauliflower in here. So you can basically use it instead of rice. I mean, rice and beans, rice, whatever. I mean, all you do is take the package out, put it in the microwave, heat it up, and it is done. It's that simple, that easy. 
So I'll show you what we serve it with when we get the rest of the dinner ready. Okay guys, there we go. There is our barbecued summertime meatloaf with our cauliflower rice with some garlic butter and our corn. So I'm going to cut this and show you guys what the inside looks like. Alright, see if I can get this up a little bit. There you go, that's what it should look like. Your kibasi is in the center and you're barbecued. So this is dinner tonight guys. So if you are new here, hit the notification button, hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment. See you in the next video, gang.